Governor Bala Muhammad joins us live from Bauchi. It's good to see you again. You were here on the program before the election, and here you are again, uh, back on the program. This time around, uh, you've won the election. It was a tough battle as we all monitored and saw what transpired, although the APC has rejected the outcome of the election. But, uh, Senator Bala Muhammad, can you tell us how humbled are you about this election, which a lot of uh, your opponents thought you don't, you did not have a chance at all in the race? Thank you, Sharon, for the opportunity, and I want to see the opportunity again to uh, congratulate my colleagues, especially the returned governors like Sule and the rest, for the opportunity given to us to serve again. Well. This has always been playing around the issue of our return and the high expectations of those coming in. They thought it was a fait accompli. They will just uh, push us around, especially my humble self. And they made so much far-reaching statements uh, out of uh, sheer deep sense of arrogance and impunity, believing that uh, I was just a pushover. And of course, I have always gone into this contest with humility and with tax and strategy, because I knew power comes from God and he gives power to who he wishes. And I knew my track records are there. And of course, I have gotten the endorsements of all the stakeholders of the state, especially those that matter. And of course, our state is a very complex state with a lot of diversity. I was able to get the note of all those who matter. And so I was ready, but they thought they are the team gods, they are the key makers because of one reason or the other, they highly underrated me. And that is why I sprang surprises and that is where my strength lay. So I knew I was going to win, but I didn't know whether it would be with that large margin of 92,000 or 93,000. And of course, if I did not win, I was ready to accept whatever came or came because I knew power comes from God. And you can never take the people of Bochi or Nigeria for granted. All right. So if you look at it, Governor Mohammed, I I'd like you to listen to what uh, the APC candidate, the former uh, chief of air staff, said about your He disputed that outcome. Let me allow you to listen to what he said. I'll, I'll get your reaction to his take on the election. It's possible. We are very aware, and our people are equally aware, that the election in Bauchi State was characterized by primitive violence, toggery, intimidation of opponents, harassment of opponents, and throwing out of APC agents in many polling units, where commissioners and local government chairmen of the states took over virtually all the electoral uh, activities, particularly in Bauchi Town. The SSG was seen moving with commissioners and local government chairmen from one collection center to another throughout the night. And when they get into these collection centers, they throw away or they chased the APC agents there and they took over the papers and wrote what they wanted to write. This, to say the least, is most unfortunate. That is the position of the APC governorship candidates in the race. They are, they are saying that the, the result of the, of the election is not the real outcome. How do you react to that? I have so much respect for the former chief of air staff because of the position that we reached in the society. But I expected him to be more statemanly, to be more honest and sincere, because maybe of his high expectations, he came in thinking that everything was uh, going his own way. There was not any violence anywhere, but we knew what happened. He killed, or his people killed so many people during the electionary campaigns in my village and in the village of my chairman. And of course, there was so much gunshot and so on and so forth. One of his supporters was declared wanted by the police because of the streak of violence he has perpetuated or perpetrated on the people. And he tried to militarize the whole process by bringing the military, but they refused to play to his, to, to his wishes and caprices. 
And of course, even the security agencies were there uh, because of the anticipation of the thuggery that he was bringing in, because the man that was declared one day was a kingpin of thuggery. He, he, he even goes around saying that he is a kingpin of thuggery. And so PDP did not do anything abnormal. Of course, we have the privilege of having a sitting government with, this, with the secretary to the government, the commissioners and the rest who are our own agents, and they are free to do it, on election duty or not. The secretary to the government is somebody who uh, liaises with the security agencies as a matter of statutory responsibility. Maybe he's ignorant of all this, but certainly we want to advise him to eschew lies, treachery, and mischief to make sure that what he does is to look at things collectively and honestly. He is expecting so much. They did a lot of vote buying. They came in with his wife using the federal government agency of the humanitarian agencies, thinking, thank, sending trailers of food stop and the rest. Some of them expired and giving money in all the police units. But money and intimidation will, did not work. And we have seen the futility of it. And he recruited so many key makers who thought they can make or unmake, and did a lot of intimidation and gave sweeping statements and conclusive assertions that we were there. And at the end of the day, we were humble. We worked on the basis of tax and strategy, knowing that our track record will sell out because both people have seen the revolution. We have brought in infrastructure, services, especially education and health. We have done so much, but we did not wait, and we campaigned in the nooks and crannies of the state, going to all the local government, touching all the stakeholders, the ulamas, the traditional rulers, and who are endorsed by all the religious sects, the Izala, two of the sects of the Izala sect, that is uh, the, the major sect of the state, and of course the Tijin, Tijania, the traditional rulers. So we have gone into this election prepared, and of course he was not prepared, but thinking that they would go and buy election, they would use the position they held Maybe they did not know election. Maybe they were coming as upstart or greenhorns in politics. Politics is not the position you held before, which you have never helped anybody. Some of us have helped a lot of people over the period as directors, as ministers, as senators. I came with a very high pedigree, but I was able to come low. Governor, Governor Mohammed, yeah. If, if I may quickly ask, now, there were a lot of people who worked against you, we, even within your party. So you had battle within and without. Outside of your party and in your party, there were a lot of division. And this election has also, just as we've seen in several states of the Federation, there were loads and loads of division, ethnic and religious division. Give us a concrete idea of how you are, or how you hope, to unite the people of Bauchi State that have been left divided by the election. On uh, when the, the mistake people think uh, do is to think that those who fought me are within the party. None of them was within our party. But they, they admired our presidential candidate and they worked for him. And they told everybody that they were going to do that. So we knew from the beginning they were never card carry members of the PDV. In fact, on the contrary, some of the elites who appreciate our contributions, like the former deputy governors and other commissioners came to our aid from the APC, even some about PDP members. But we never had anybody who was a member of the PDP working against us. People like the former uh, Speaker of the House of Representatives, he was never with us. The former governor of Bauchi State, Adam Mahadu, was only an admirer of uh, uh, our presidential candidate. He had always been my traditional foe, and I have always apologized for defeating him uh, in 2007. I thought uh, that was forgotten, but he was always looking for his fund of flesh. And the other old, older person, my father, the Doziri, who was able to enlist the antagonism of the Emirate, and he was sacked, and he was blaming it on me. I believe it is his time to go. But he was never a card carrying member of any political party. But I agree he was a traditional ruler and one of our elders that we respected. And he took the toga and the, uh, the throne of the, the creator of God to say that he was the one who made me. And then he was demystified and demeaned by his own uh, utterances and vagaries. So, so I mean, never had it. Yeah, so I mean, my, my, my worry is 
the people have been divided by this election. How you are hoping uh, to unite so these them? People, yeah. These people have already uh, uh, oozed themselves, themselves out of the system. We are devising a new movement within the APC and the PDP. And I have extended my hands of friendship to them if they can come along. But if they feel very strong, already they have been demystified. Already they have been rejected by the people. They no longer matter anyone any longer. But of course, we give them their respect as elders. If they wish to come, because I didn't make myself, I didn't elect myself, and the people, 22 members of the House with a brand new deputy governor. So it is not me, it is the people of Bauchi. They have had their time. When they were there, nobody challenged them. But they are challenging God, and that is why they have destroyed themselves. But still, they are our leaders. All right. We like them. We respect them. We want them to come on board, and because there are so many opportunities there. But when they continue with their transgression, I know God will deal with them. And of course, we are not just going to fold our arms, as I said in one of the interviews, with my hands behind my back akimbo, following them when I knew they don't long, they no longer matter in terms of uh, uh, leadership in Bautista. But certainly, we respect them. We want them to really swallow their ego. Senator Mohammed. Back to reality. Just yeah. uh, in about 60 seconds, we are due for another break. But give us an idea, because politics is over, elections are over. I know a lot of people might go to court, but you that you have been uh, given, saddled with the responsibility to lead the people of Bauchi, the people will now be looking forward to leadership, to governance. Give us an idea of what will be your primary role uh, or uh, agenda or target for the people of Bautista, what should they be looking forward to now that you have the election? I want to really continue with the work what we have started, the continuity. But there can be continuity without unity and peace. We have been adjured as one of the most peaceful states. These stakeholder wranglings that we have, division and rancor, I want to make sure that it is over. But certainly, I'm going to face it within the legal means to make sure that I legitimize my position because I'm humble and of, of, offer the uh, olive uh, leaf or the branch to whoever wants to come and, and join us and even take the milestone to reach out to them, those who feel that they are the major stakeholders and they are losing out. So that at the end of the day, as Governor Sile has said, there are so many opportunities and potentials in Bauchi that everybody will be able to contribute. If what we want is the progress and development of Bauchi, if what we want is prosperity, then we should work very hard to make sure we bring people together. And I'm ready because there is certainly nothing much between me and Dogara as a brother, nothing much between me and Moazu as an elder brother that I respect so much. Nothing between me and Waziri, except for what he felt that he didn't want me to be governor, and he told everybody he didn't want me. And when I have fought to assert myself, then people are blaming me. You cannot blame me when I want to do, what, when I want to really make sure that I'm not, I'm not been undone. And so I mean them well. Even now there are traditional rulers, there are ulamas who right. to them. I have forgiven them. My own is to make sure I unify everybody. Even civil servants who work with them. I'm not going to penalize them. I'm asking them to come and work because everybody has his thinking or his feelings. And certainly you cannot go into election like this and think that everybody is with you and thinking that you will be the winner. Right from right. the onset, I thought I will win, but if I don't win, I will take the outcome. Senator Bala Mohammed, you really have your work cut out for you, and I wish you the very best with you and your thank people you and the expectations they have for you. I hope you do not disappoint them. But well, thank you so much indeed thank for your you. time tonight. Thank you, Sean. Congratulations thank you. once thank again. You.